Hi Clint, uh, this is Cosme. Uh, in this video, I'm going to try to explain to you some of the things that uh, you sent in this email. Obviously, there's these issues that ha are probably causing a lot of concern or yan at your end and, and a headache on trying to figure out what's going on with these redemptions, uh, the dates, our own numbers not matching, and things of that nature. Well, uh, we spent a great deal of time this morning on looking at everything very closely and I think we have an answer on why uh, things are looking like they are right now. And uh, I know we had also informed you about a month and a half ago or two months ago, I think, that we were about to make some uh, major modifications in the PCP program, primarily because of the issues you were having. Is we saw that if you are going to use the system for those uh, purposes, you probably right now have to look at several different places to make sure that the date ranges you have picked are not showing uh, services that you've already paid for. Uh, and if you haven't paid for, you want to make sure that you did pay for the services that the service department has not been um, uh, has been redeemed for. So uh, we have implemented changes that are definitely going to make your life a whole lot easier. And I'm going to go and show you how to use that feature, uh, which is simply an addition of a column that will make a uh, it'll make a big difference. And the export report has also been modified uh, to help you with uh, with keeping your records and so forth. Uh, but what I want to start off with, first of all, is the Excel sheet that you had sent us. And I have got some comments on here, and as you can see, some highlighted areas. And I'll go over e each of them. And uh, if you have any questions about them, and if I did not, if I misunderstood something, please let me know. And uh, I'll make sure that I will clarify any questions you have. Uh, after this Excel sheet, I'm going to go on to PCP and show you how some of these modifications will hugely uh, alleviate some of these issues and concerns and problems that you're having. Uh, I think that will really, really uh, make this process a lot more cleaner, faster for you. So anyways, uh, first of all, let's start with the Excel sheet and uh, I'll take it from there. Okay, so in the first row, um, I didn't see any issue, and you hadn't uh, mentioned any issue, and we looked at the uh, contract number for Mar Marvin Olivia, and, and we didn't see any kind of um, uh, information that may have been in conflict with what PCP has, so I just highlighted that in green. Uh, so both the green ones are uh, issues that there are the system on issue, so I've just highlighted those in, in green. Now the red ones were uh, specifically where we had a question, and we're not sure exactly how uh, you got the results that you uh, that you have, and because they're in conflict uh, in some way in PCP. And in the yellow, I have the uh, questions about the red ones, and the blue highlighted area is basically uh, uh, really not an issue. But I'll tell you why you are having a date uh, difference in when the actual redemption was done, or the uh, the date the ROs shows that it was uh, carried out at the dealership, and why it's different in PCP. Uh, but uh, largely, I think that there's really three issues here, uh, which I will summarize uh, in, in this video recording. So the first one that was uh, mentioned, uh, you had in these curly braces uh, indicated two contract numbers that had the same RO numbers. So you, uh, your statement was same RO numbers, different contract numbers. Uh, yes, and we looked at the contract number in PCP for Marin Averna. And uh, we, we were unable to find the same uh, RO number. In PCP, it shows that the RO number of this customer is 170506. And the date the, the service was done was 222. Uh, but for some reason, in this Excel sheet, it is showing as one f is 427. So, so I'm not sure. This is a, one of those things that we're not sure about how is this is showing up. Because if you go to the redemption report or if you look at... Um, the service redemption page, which is one of the places I definitely go to verify if something like this happens. Um, uh, it both they both show that the date of the redemption was 2:22, uh, and the RO was closed, as you say, on 1:30. And I'll explain to you why is that date not matching the auto redeem service. Uh, but in the system, the RO number is not a duplicate; uh, it is actually 170506. So I don't know whether it was uh, maybe the Excel's got uh, the number switched around or something, but uh, it's okay. It's in PCP. It's fine. Uh, the second question that you had, of course, was that the RO was closed on January 30th of 2012. So why is it that the uh, the number is different in PCP? 
And uh, the reason for that is, Clint, that it's only going to be for the auto redemption currently. Uh, the auto redeem service did not exist before, as you know, and this is something we we started off from January of this year. Uh, because some lo of some of the logical constraints we had uh, when we programmed this in, currently, the auto redeem function automatically redeems a service. That means that it d it is not required to actually go into the redemption page and redeem that service when a contract is sold with an auto redemption. However, the dates that are in that are assigned to that auto redeem service is actually the date when the contract is made active in PCP. And that's for the reason why the dates are not matching up uh, with the date that you have in your internal system. Because the date you have in the internal system is obviously the date, date that the service was redeemed, which is probably, in case of an auto redemption, going to be the date that the contract was sold, which is correct. Uh, but in PCP, it's showing you a different date. It's probably uh, some days after that or a month after that, and it's because it's when the payment is received and the contract is made live. It makes the date it was made live uh, the date the contract is, uh, that service is redeemed or the auto redeem. But it's only for the auto redemptions. You will not find that issue with regular redemptions, obviously, because as they're redeemed, uh, they're redeemed on a live contract. Uh, and in the auto redemption situation, though the contract is not live, obviously, and so we had this. Uh, th this is the reason why there's a variance on that, and we're working on making this issue go away as well. So your dates are going to be the same. So the date the contract is sold, uh, by default, the auto redemption would be on the same date. So the ones in blue are basically for that date because the auto redeem service has the receive date as the service date, um, and those are these. Uh, the ones in yellow. And the ones that I've highlighted in red, uh, where it says that the sale date is, um, or I'm sorry, the the date you have is 2-4 for this contract, and our date is 4-11. Uh, these contracts have a sale date of April 4th. All of these have a sale date of April 4th in our program. And we looked at our batch as well, uh, the remittance uh, batch, it has April 4th. So we're not sure exactly how the redemption predates uh, the actual sale date of the contract. Now, of course, the assumption could be that you know the contract sale date is incorrect, but the sale dates of the contract are actually instantaneous. It's when they're entered in the system at the dealership end. So that's all four four for these uh, this batch, and I'm I'm assuming this is this. Yeah, I think this is the same batch. Um, but your question was that why are these redemption dates four eleven four eleven four eleven when these contracts on your end are showing that the service redemption is 2-4. So we're not sure about that because the sale date is 4-4 four, four, and we don't know how it's possible that your redemption dates could have preceded uh, the the sale date. So uh, that's pretty much the explanation for the first half of it. Uh, this auto redeem service really is really not an issue, it's just that the auto redeem service dates are the dates when the contract becomes live. Uh, all the other service dates that are not auto redeem will of course be the same date as the date has been uh, redeemed in PCP. Um, the other issue, I don't know if there's any issues with the ones below it because I didn't see any remarks. I know you said that you were able to tally the ones that you have uh, highlighted in green and that we're assuming that the ones you've not highlighted are the ones that you are unable to find maybe in your system. Uh, well, again, we don't know why but they have been reported in PCP as you can see. And if you have any questions on those, uh, please do let me know. Now, of course, all of this brings uh, you know more confusion at your end when you're trying to reconcile this stuff. And so, well, like promised, we have created, uh, we've made some major modifications in PCP, both not only just on the reports page, but also on the redemption page to help the service drive not get, a, you know, allow the service drive people to find customers easily and redeem services without too much confusion before they had issues with having two enter buttons and if they just pressed enter without actually pressing the button it would uh, not give them the result or not show them the contract so we also modified some of those things to help them uh, streamline that effort okay so I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this screen and we're gonna get to PCP so uh, I'm logged in as you and uh, right now I've got two screens open they are almost the same this is the older version, which you are, uh, which you use current, which you have been using before, and this is the newer version. And you'll see there's a few more fields here than you had before. 
uh, and really the few more fields it uh, seems like hey there's more selections but actually helps you a great deal because now on the coupon redemption you can break down by express contracts and PCB contracts and all as well um, one of the major things was you know you select a date parameter but what happens if we go in and put a contract uh, that was an older contract it wasn't reported and they had redemptions done and uh, they'll show up at a later date uh, so how do you know that the date parameter you're selecting has all the contracts that you have paid for or not paid for because there's nothing that shows that on the front end for you to easily just by looking at uh, come to the conclusion hey I paid for these or I've not paid for these so we've made this modification in the program that will allow you to make that decision on the spot just by looking at the report so I've clicked on show report uh, and the date parameter I selected was April 1st to the end of April so it's 1st of April at the 30th and as you can see here uh, it's very similar to what it used to be by the way I've got it selected to all and uh, the other thing under coupon paid I would just uh, I would just suggest selecting both yeah this unpaid or paid doesn't have any uh, impact on uh, your paid or unpaid it's just something for the system so just select both on that um, now you see this additional one that says payout date and I'll explain that in a second but what you'll see is here's all your redemptions the coupons uh, coupon counts from first of March to the end of March and you everything is pretty much exactly the same it's got 300 something vouchers all the way down 317 um, and what I have here the new stuff is the select button if I select the first one it's gonna check everything but what this is is this is something entirely for you it has no impact on us it's for your visual identification and it's to serve as a visual cue for you where if you selected any of these and put a payout date that would be a reference for you to know I paid these already in uh, you know for the service department I've already reimbursed them for these services once you've selected the ones that you wish to reimburse you can scroll down to the page and basically press save selection and when the page refreshes and in some cases it may take a little bit but once this refreshes you see you've got these checked ones um, and you've got a date against each one of them which I selected the 30th so basically this this date the payout date on on in the program here has no impact on us at all as far as we're concerned this is primarily and essentially designed as a visual cue for you to know when did you pay these guys and this will always stay in here now if you accidentally check something all you have to do is basically uncheck the ones you don't need and scroll down again and press the save selection button and that will update the screen and then you would have those unchecked okay and so how do you go about updating the uh, updating a date for example so what you do is that you will select it you will select one that you you uncheck the one that you want to update you save the selection and when you save it and it refreshes the page the date payout date is going to be gone all you have to do is simply select it again and select the new date and save it so it's as simple as that but right now you'll be able to go back at any date range and you'll know which ones you had paid already and which ones you haven't so all I have to do now is uh, just to show you how it works I can go back you know I can get out of this go back to the reports page again and uh, this time I'm gonna select from April 1st to April 12th and click on show report and as you can see in this date parameter it showed me uh, the coupons that actually fall under this date parameter and it's four of them but I can see them and that basically uh, having this capability will allow you to easily know when and uh, was the date that one number one first of all did you pay these uh, to the service department have you reimbursed them and second of all it will tell you what was the date that you reimbursed them and hopefully this alone will will um, help you a great deal with the issues you have right now with tallying these numbers and looking back and forth trying to make sure that you know you it's that you know you're not paying them twice or you've not paid them uh, I hope that this will help you a great deal and we believe this should uh, you know we're constantly improving things we're trying to make sure that you know your issues can be uh, alleviated as best as we can and 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 the problems mitigated uh, now uh, I also wanted to show you very quickly I know this doesn't pertain to you exactly but 
uh, I think it's helpful for you as well is that if you ever wanted to come to the redemption page to see the actual RO numbers and you may actually be using it right now uh, well, if you remember before this page used to look something like this uh, where it had two search buttons and a lot of times it caused problems when the service drive manager entered the contract number and just pressed enter on the keyboard because it will by default go to the first search button and then they wouldn't get a result uh, which resulted in them thinking that they didn't have the contract number in the system however we've fixed that issue and now all you have to do is actually go to the contract page uh, the service redemption page it has a separate radio button for the criteria which is if you want to search by contract number punch in the contract number right there and press search or press enter and uh, if you want to do first name last name you can select that if you want to do it by VIN number you can do that as well and everything else is pretty much the same so Clint yeah, I hope this helps and uh, please email me back or call me if you have any questions and and uh, we'll try to get to the bottom of it and help you out with uh, understanding what's going on and help us understand exactly what's going on with certain things that are not matching up at your end Thank you.